Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me for another math lesson. We are continuing our unit on subtraction within 1000, and today we're going to look at subtracting using models. We've already looked at subtracting tens and hundreds. We've already looked at subtracting um, on a number line, and we talked about two different ways to do that, adding up or counting back. And today I want to look at how we can use models, place value, um, to figure out how to subtract larger numbers. So as we get started every time, I want to go over some vocabulary. These are terms you need to know to, uh, so that you don't get confused on any kind of um, math problem. First, let's go over when you have a subtraction problem. The problem is called an equation. Uh, the first number in a subtraction problem is the menu end. Typically, it's the larger number. Next is the subtrahend. That's the number you're subtracting. Again, typically, it's the smaller number. And the answer to a subtraction equation is called the difference. Now, if you're working with word problems, you might see some of these keywords, and I want you to make sure you're aware of them. Read these with me, please. Difference less than, take away, minus, fewer, left over, have left, remain, minus, how many more? If you see any of those in a word problem, you're probably being asked to subtract. Next, and here's a lot of terms. Again, I want to go over all of them. Um, we have less than. If a number is less than another number, it's smaller than that. So, for example, 123 is less than 321. Then we have the term greater than. If a number is greater than another number, it's larger, it's bigger than that number. For example, 500 is greater than 200. Then we have the uh, word decrease. If numbers decrease, they get smaller. These numbers decrease, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. They get smaller as you go. When you subtract, numbers decrease, they get smaller. Um, and last is regroup, and we are going to be doing some regrouping today. When you regroup, you rearrange or you form into different groups. For example, for every 10 ones, there'd be a 10. So if you borrow a 10, you're going to get 10 ones. And for every 10 tens, there'd be a 100. So if you ever had to borrow a 100, you'd trade it for 10 tens because it's the same thing. And last, we have our place value spots, our ones place, our tens place, our hundreds place. Um, the digit in that place tells you how many they are. Um, we have your standard form of writing a number, your word form, 523, and your expanded form or expanded notation where you would break it apart into hundreds, tens, and ones. 500 plus 20 plus 3 is 523. Now, that's a lot. Let's get started. So the first problem we're going to do today together is, and we're only going to do maybe three or four questions, and that's going to be it. I want to make sure you understand how to do it, but I don't want to give you a long lesson. Is 654 minus 231. Just ignore that answer there. You didn't see it. You didn't see it. And when you're subtracting with models, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to build the menu end. So we have 654. So I did 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 4. 654. Um, now, usually what I like to do, and you don't have to do this, um, is I break up the subtrahend um, into expanded notation. So I break it at that 231 into 230 plus 1. That tells me what I need to subtract. So first I'm going to subtract the 200. So I'm going to cross out 200s. Next I'm going to cross out three tens. That's 30. There's my 30 there. And next, I'm going to cross out 1-1, one, because one, that was my 1-1. One, one. Now, again, you can look up here and tell if you know your place value, you have 200s, 310s, 1-1. One, one, and you can easily just go straight from there. After you've done that, you add what's left. I have 400s, 210s is 20, 3-1s is 3, so that would make 423, which means the answer is 423. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Now, that one did not have any regrouping, all right? So let's do another one with no regrouping. Obviously, without regrouping, it's a little bit easier. 
So I, but I do want to make sure if you can do this, then you're ready to try regrouping. Let's do another one. 469 minus 326. Step one again is build the menu end. So I have 400 here, and then I have two, four, six tens, that makes 60, and I have nine ones. So that's 469. I'm going to break my subtrahend up into expanded notation, 300 plus 20 plus 6, and then I'll start subtracting. I'm going to subtract 300s, two tens for 20, there's my 20, I have two in the tens place, and then I'm going to subtract 6 because I have a 6 here, also a 6 in the ones place. And now after that, what do we do next? Do you remember? We add what's next. So I'm going to have 100, 4 tens is 40, 3 ones is 3, so that's 100 plus 40 plus 3. What does that make? 143, that's right. Which means that 469 minus 326 is 143. All right, are you getting the hang of it? I hope so. Now, get ready. We're going to regroup. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do it, so pay careful attention so that you can do this on your own. You ready? Let's go. 563 minus 326. Again, what's step one? Build a number. I have 563. Then I'm going to expand notation. My subtrahend. I'm sure you already knew that. Again, you can just look at the places if you want. Now, what do I take away first? A hundreds, that's right. I've got a three in the hundreds place. I have 300, so I'll take away 300. And then I have a two in the tens place for 20. I take away those two. And then I want to take away six. I take away three, but wait. I need to take away three more, but I don't have them. I'm going to have to regroup. Now, if you remember the definition of regroup, it means that you're going to rearrange something in another way. So I'm going to take one of these tens and I'm going to turn it into ten ones. It's still ten. I'm just regrouping. So I'm borrowing a ten and I'm moving it to the ones place. Now I can take away my three ones. So I can take these three, my, take away my nine x three, and I can take away three of those. Once I've done that, I can go back to my regular step. I'm going to add what's left. I have two tens, I mean two hundreds, that makes two hundred. And when I count my tens, I don't count this one. Okay? We don't count it because it went away. We moved it over here. We turned it into ones. So I'm only going to count the ones I didn't move. So that's 10, 20, 30. And then I count the rest of the ones that I had left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can add that together, 200 plus 30 plus 7. What is that? 237, that's right. So the answer is 237. Now, did that make sense? Did you see how I did that? When you regroup, you're just rearranging. So I'm going to rearrange this 10 into 10 ones. Now, it may not always be 10s to 1s. Sometimes it might be 100s to 10s. It just depends on what you need to do. But either way, I want to make sure you know how to do it. So this time, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Are you ready? Let's go. 329 minus 157. What's the first step again? That's right. Build the menu end. 329. And then again, I'm going to expand the notation my subtrahend, and then I'm going to start subtracting. I have a 1 in the hundreds place, so I'm going to subtract 100. I'm going to go to the tens place, and I can subtract 2, but what about my, again, what about my other 3? They're not there. So what do I need to do? I have to regroup. Now remember, regrouping is rearranging, and I need what do I need? I need tens. I can't find tens in the ones. I can only find them in the hundreds. So I want to take a hundred 
and I want to rearrange it into 10 tens because if you remember, 10 tens makes 100. You can count by tens. Count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's still 100. But I still need to take away three tens. So I'm going to take away three tens. Once you've done that, what can you do? We can add. So I have 100 left. So I have my 100. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I have 70 here. And I have two ones. If I add that together, what do I get? 172. That's correct. Which means that 329 minus 157 is 172. How did you do? Did that help you understand a little bit better? I hope just by being here today, you've made math a little bit easier. And I hope the rest of your day is fantastic. See you next time.